Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video here. Okay, today we're making something that's definitely, definitely old school and southern. We're doing some old school. You see right here, I got some collard greens. Old school collard greens and ham hocks. You can't get no better than that. I got some cornbread here already cooked. And that is a complete meal. Whole school uh, collard greens and cornbread, you don't need nothing else. I got some old school pepper sauce to go with it and some hot sauce, and that's a meal in itself, y'all. So what it is, I'm going to get started on uh, on cooking the uh, the ham hock. Because these going to take about an hour, hour and a half to simmer till they tender. When they tender, I take them out. And then I'm going to put my greens in, which I'm washing right now. I'm going to show you how I'm cleaning them here in just a second. And I'm going to put the greens in the old school, what's going to be called pot liquor at the end. Y'all don't know about pot liquor, you don't know about no greens. Because greens with some pot liquor and cornbread, hey, it doesn't get any better than that. So anyway, I got bacon grease in here. I like to use bacon grease when I cook my greens. If you don't have bacon grease, you can use oil or whatever to saute my onions in here. Get them transfluid and get them started. Because I like the onions to soak in that bacon grease. Because that's more flavor when I cook my greens. I always say my bacon grease when I cook bacon for greens and stuff like that. I'm going to put a little garlic in here. You don't have to put garlic if you don't want to. You can omit that. I'm going to just kind of get these a little translucent here. Oh, nothing like the smell of garlic and onions and bacon grease. That's so good smelling, y'all. It don't smell, it don't get no better than that. Let me move this over here a little way y'all can see. It doesn't get no better than that. Okay, now while that's cooking here, what I'm gonna be doing while I'm gone here off camera, see the greens, how I clean them, I'm gonna be washing them very thoroughly, because collard greens, number one, they tend to be dirtier to me than mustard greens. And uh, they're a lot tougher to cook because they're a lot of tougher greens. So they take longer to cook than mustard greens. So what I do, I take that rib out of the middle and just do it just like this. Because I don't want this part of the green. Let me show you another how I do. I fold it over and just take that rib just like that. That goes away. This is the what you eat. Do a couple of more here. Very simple. But you definitely don't want that tough part. Just all you want is the green part. So a couple of more so y'all will see. And I got about, about four bunches of collard greens here that I'm going to do all. Okay, now the onions are cooking. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my, add my ham hocks to this. And I'm going to fill this up with water, not fill it up. I'm going to fill it up just to over cover the, cover the ham hock. And this going to simmer, like I say, about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how big your ham hocks are. But this is, this is the best way to eat collard greens is with ham hocks. You can use pig feet, you can use bacon, but the best way is nothing like some good old ham hocks and collard greens, y'all. Or mustard greens, or turnip greens, the different types. So I'm gonna let cover that all the way up, and this is gonna simmer, and this is gonna make a good, powerful. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in here too. I can't forget the salt and pepper. Fill that up. One second here. Fill that up. Let's see what we got. Okay. Put some good kosher salt and white pepper in there. That's gonna make a good pot liquor for the greens. So anyway, we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna finish cleaning the greens, and we'll be back about an hour and a half when I take these out and put the greens. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, I've had these ham hocks simmering about an hour and a half here. So you can see that nice and tender. So what I'm gonna do now, Take these ham hocks out of here. And take 
come out of here, let them cool. And I'm gonna put these greens in here, little by little. And I'm gonna, as them ham hogs cool, I'm gonna pick the meat off of them after these greens cook down. Okay, we're gonna put the lid back on here and let them cook down here until they tender and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, let's check on our greens here. They just simmer in about 20 minutes. So I like to simmer my collard greens for like an hour because they are tougher greens than uh than uh turnip or mustard green. Now this is something my mom used to do, a couple of things. You add a little sugar to this because it's a little bitter. Add a little sugar to it, maybe a tablespoon. But she added vinegar, white vinegar to her. Some people add baking soda, but she say baking soda don't give it a flavor as white vinegar do. So she puts a little white vinegar and that's for the tenderness, make them tender. It's like I say, some people use baking soda to make them tender. My mom used to use uh, white vinegar, which she still does. Okay, like I say, these simmer in here, and I'm gonna let them simmer for about 40 more minutes to get really, really tender. And while that's being done, I'm gonna pick the meat off these ham hocks. You see how tender they are? See how tender them ham hocks are? Good stuff here, y'all. Look at that. Let me get my tongue tasty. Look at that. That's good stuff. Ain't nothing like good old ham hocks and, and collard greens. So I'll be right back. I'm going to pick that off, and I'll be right back when it's almost ready. So y'all be. All right, y'all, I'm back again. Okay, I've chopped my meat up here, my ham hocks, and took it off the bone. Now I'm going to add that to the, back to my pot. And I like the skin. If you don't like the skin, you don't have to put the skin on the, on the, uh, you can leave the skin out, but I love the pork skin of the ham hocks. That has so much flavor. I love that. So now I'm going to let these simmer about, I'm going to let about 20 more minutes here and let that flavor get in from the ham hocks and them greens. I like a lot of meat in my greens, if y'all see that. But anyway, I'm going to let this simmer. And next time we come back, it'll be finished, so we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, now you can see the, the greens are ready here. Nice and tender, the ham hocks in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna both put me some in a bowl here. Look at that. Oh yeah, gotta have some ham hocks in there too, y'all. Gotta have some meat in there. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit more meat in there. My mama would say, gotta have some. Gotta have some in that pot. Look at that pot liquor. Ooh, my God. Look at that. Gotta have some of that pot liquor in there, too. Hey, good eating that. Turn this off. And I gotta have some of my old school. If I can open it. Old school pepper sauce, y'all. And I got a video on this I uploaded a couple weeks ago. Old school pepper sauce. Put a little pepper sauce on them bean greens. A homemade pepper sauce. Shoot. It's on here, y'all. Let's try this. Oh my god. Looking so good, y'all. Of course, the hemp hawk's so tender. The greens are so tender. Mm, look at that. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 And I do have some cornbread to go with this. I'm just tasting it like this, bro. This is so good. Mm. Wow. I'm getting no better than this. It's a meal in itself, y'all. Mmm. We'll try this recipe. Please comment, please subscribe, please share. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And to, um, also follow my other social media account, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, 
and new just launched Pinterest and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day.